Hi, I'm George here. I'm offering a Santa Slash, I mean Santa's workshop. We're making some warm, sticky pudding here. Our ingredients are baking soda, bubba baking soda, pure sugar, brown sugar, pure brown sugar, and some Domino's sugar. We got some mission figs, California mission figs. Got some, whatever this is. This is self-rising flour. We got some dates all the way from Morocco. We got some Ready Whip that the elves cooked up. We got a blender from Ikea. And we got some butter from Finland. So what better place to get butter than Finland? We got a saucepan. We got some Rumpkins. Rumpkins. We got grater. And we got only the best chocolate you can get in the North Pole. Hershey's special dark, mildly sweet chocolate with almonds. We got some pears, since we don't have figs, because this is the North Pole, nothing grows here. We got some water. And yeah, now let's get right into the oven. All right, hey guys, first thing first, we got the water set up. Well, what's the best thing you need for bacon? The number one thing, butter. So we're gonna have to get three and a half ounces of butter. So we're gonna cut the butter like this, plop it in, plop it in there, a bit more, plop it in. All right, go with the butter. Got to microwave that later, but first thing first. We we'll need to make the sauce. First we need to put water. Now fun fact, a lot of the elves from the North Pole, we know Lil yeah. Uzi. We're friends with them. All right, now we need dates and dried figs. So dates, how many dates do we need? We need half a cup or one and a half cups. So as you can see right here, this is our cup. Is this half a cup perfect all right now what do we need from here we need one and a half cup of dried figs one and a half cup you hear that guys one and a half cup of dried figs unmade fig the best you can get in a north pole anywhere if you're making a fallout bunker i recommend to get these figs oh oh there goes the fig don't matter we don't need them He's dead to us. Dead. Right. Can you pour this in here? That wand fell? No big deal. Now when you put this in the, right here, it just needs to cook till the water boils, which hopefully will soon, real soon, we're gonna get some, is butter. Yeah, but we can't just put the butter in, we have to do something with it first. Guess what we have to do? Right here in our direct, we gotta soften the butter. Best way to do that, microwave. All right, we're gonna need for this 30 seconds. All right, while we're waiting for this, you know, some of you guys are probably wondering, where am I? Well, I'm in the lower cell, basement floor, hallway five. Yeah, lower cell, basement floor, hallway five, room number 441, you know. Not that I want to leave, but if you could pick me up, that'll be fine. It's been a long time since I saw the outside world. I miss a lot of things. Five guys, McDonald's, personal freedom. We got, yeah, we're pretty much going to get this done. We got to wait till it boils. Then we're going to get this baking soda. Baking soda. You know, the name deceives you. If you can smell that, it smells good. So we're just going to place it down here, right here. Right here, we need baking soda. Baking soda. I'm just going to take this off so I can pour the baking soda in. Yeah. Flip this over, reduce, reuse, recycle. What is this? This is a teaspoon. We need, this is a teaspoon. I don't know the directions, ingredients right here. What do we need? One teaspoon of baking soda. Uno, one, one head. So we're just going to scoop it up. I'm just going to pour it right here. Gonna mix it. Gotta stir it. Gotta mix it. 
Oh, dude, this just smells so good. I could just eat it right here, right now. Nothing's stopping me, except for Santa. We all like Santa. He's chill. He makes presents. All right, so heat and stir and bang it, soda. We just gotta stir for a few more. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. This just smells heavily up in here. You know, while it's really cold outside, you know, you just want to warm up, you should make this. It's really easy. It's my first time making this. My first cooking show, actually. I used to be in charge of making sure that elves stay in line and don't mess up with the toys. Yeah, the previous cooking dude, he fell off a cliff. Someone pushed him, but yeah, we don't know who yet. Yeah, so let's try and break the silence here. We're gonna, we're just gonna keep on stirring it. We're just gonna keep it stirring. You know, we just got Spotify Premium. It's a free trial, so it's only for a week. And yeah, we've been listening to a lot of music. Lil Uzi, Kendrick Lamar, Lil Pump, you know, the good stuff, classic. All right, we're just gonna let this cool for five minutes. All right, guys, so while we're waiting for that, to cool down a bit we're gonna be making well i don't know what we're gonna make santa didn't tell me a lot of stuff but we're using a hand mixer we gotta cream the butter and sugar in a large bowl to cream something you gotta put stuff in so first we're gonna get some domino sugar not the pizza but the sugar confused me at first we ordered like 10 large pepperonis every night it's no sugar some you know, a teaspoon of sugar. Now how much sugar do we need one cup of refined sugar now this has some garbage in it so we're just gonna Grow in here. One cup. One cup of roux. Fill this up right here. You gotta make sure you have an accurate amount. Gonna lift this up. Just gonna pave it like this. Gonna pave it like this. Oh, we're a bit down. We just need to put some more sugar in it. Gotta make sure this is level. Gotta make it level. And we're good. Just need to pour some of this in the mixer. Right here in this big bowl. Big bowl. Butter. What will we do without butter? I just found out we can get butter from sheep. Sheep butter. <laughs> This is cow butter. I'm gonna read this. I'm just gonna, what does it say? Add the egg, all right. Add the eggs and beat well. Now, by beat, it doesn't mean we gotta punch the chicken. No, no, it means we gotta beat the eggs with this thing. Now, this is where it gets iffy, because you can substitute eggs for bananas if you're vegan. Now, how many eggs do we need? Two eggs. So let's just start crack a lacking. Yeah, make sure we got all the eggs well. Let's just start crack a lacking. Got to This all right. Oh. All right. Got to keep cracking the egg. Yeah. So, the holidays are nearing. This is our busiest time of year. Santa Claus is, you know, doing his usual stuff. Mrs. Claus is on vacation to Bermuda. Sometimes some impurities get in there, so we just gotta, gotta get, get our little thing in here. We gotta mix it out. We gotta do this. We just gotta mix this in. Now, while we do it, NFL. That's all right. Life happens. Yeah, life happens. Got it. Got it. All right, fold in the flour. So fold in the flour, we need the flour now. Okay, go get the flour, got it. Keep on doing this right here, just keep mixing it. Keep mixing it, turn it off real quick to open the flour. All right, all right. got this. Real quick, just. All right, how much flour do we need? Two and a half cups. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down somewhere. Take this off real quick. Don't want a messy kitchen is a bad kitchen. Some of you are probably thinking, yo, it can't get any worse from here. Trust me, it can. Just make sure Santa doesn't find out. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta rinse this as well. This is just, oh, we gotta reduce, we gotta reuse, we gotta recycle. Except for water, because we have a lot of water and snow in the North Pole. A lot of water and a lot of snow. We gotta go right here, just gotta, quick rinse, nothing major, quick rinse. All right, we just gotta pour this flour in. Oh God, it's maybe two and a half cups. Flour's leaking, no big deal. No big deal, hear that folks? Yeah, now we see from the Food Network's warm sticky figgy, figgy pudding, how much flour do we need? And we need two and a half cups. Right here, pat it down, turn it. This is, still need more, way more flour. First time making this, you guys gotta remember that. All right there, now what do we do from here? All right. Now we add the date mixture. They get a little messy, but that's all right. Oh God, that's the thing. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, this we're gonna take a bit of a break here. It's a great chocolate. Mm-mm-mm, delicious. All right, we need to get our grater. So 
Yeah, we're just grating in the chocolate. This may not be the most effective way of grating, but this still grating in the chocolate. May take a while, folks, but what doesn't today? Now, everything is instant gratification. I can go on my phone, boom, I can buy whatever I want. It says Santa doesn't give us normal phones. He gives us track phones. You know, the ones that you have to get minutes for. It's all right, though. Santa loves eBay. He really does. That's how he bought me this apron. Sales on it. He said it was a sale. You know, it's a bit messy here, but what isn't? You know, a good mess means good cleaning. Good cleaning means good character. All chocolate's breaking. Put this down for a minute. Just need great chocolate. Great it. Right, gotta give it a good old great. And that's whatever. You just gotta forget about the past. You just gotta focus in the future. And you forget about how you were a used car salesman and you just got kidnapped by a bunch of people in green. Yeah. Fun fact, the elves are not short. I'm pretty tall. Yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, it can only get better though. Sometimes your hand gets tired, you gotta switch hands, you gotta switch hands, you gotta work. A lot of chocolate's missing, but that's all right. And let's check the chocolate. All right. What is this? This is, a, I would say, a good amount. Now, this has been sterilized before, so I'm just going to, should we, should we use this chocolate, other elf? All right, the elf agrees, because, you know. Now, since I'm sanitary, or as sanitary you can be, living off of less than minimum wage, I don't even get paid. Got it. Got some bad guys. All right, put the mixture in four. Here, says we need Mix it up a bit. Just a tiny bit. Now, folks, this may look a bit weird, especially to all the Americans and non-British people out there, because most of us, we don't really eat this stuff in them. Um, cake pudding form. You just eat it, you know, as it is, maybe put it on top of something. But trust me, if you can smell this, we can see why the Brits conquered most of the world. We need to get our butter. Now some of you may be asking, but you already got the butter, we need more. Never too much butter in the North Pole. Best butter you're gonna get all around. Now we're just gonna use this butter knife, gonna mix it a bit, mix it. After that, we have an hour break. Creep on butter, just drizzle a little bit. Alrighty. Now, I'm just gonna put this down, and we're gonna look at this. You look at, this is our guidance. This is our map, map to deliciousness. Now after mixing this, we need to add some butter. Just a tiny bit of butter. That's enough, that should be enough. That should suffice our needs. Just need to mix it a bit. Yeah, what's the figgy pudding? All right, now. Oh man, this is actually good. Now we're just gonna put this right here to the gun. Mm mm mm. Mm, yum yum yum. Ah, uh, my hands. You bake it. Now, I'm thinking we should probably get one of those oven things, those oven trays. All right, I'm back, guys. So for the sauce, we're gonna need two cups brown sugar. Well, I forgot, I don't have a cup thing, so but I remember, memorize it by heart. It's in memory, whatever. <sighs> I messed it up. You know what, it's a Christmas tree. You gotta slur your speech to get the job done. Right here, you see this one pint, two cups. Yeah, mix it up. Yeah, yeah, pat it down. You just gotta make sure it gets out and gets into business. Yeah, you know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. God, come on, keep doing this. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Pat it down, we gotta make sure the sugar gets out and gets back into the business. Mmm, brown sugar. It's like white sugar, but brown. And more crystallized, if that makes sense. And that should be enough. Well, a bit more, never too much sugar. Never too much. Now we're just going to need to do this. Get some of this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Deliciousness. Now we're going to need to turn this on, so. This is going to be done right about now. We're okay to have enough of you. Alrighty, so I don't know why I'm... Easter is a mixed bag. We fight the Easter Bunny. You know, you really think the ducks give you the eggs. No, no, it's just people. That's where you the people go to. Just they both kidnap people. Oh, volunteer. Volunteer. They both volunteer and you know it's it's, it's alright. Sometimes it gets a bit brutal. Fourth of July though is amazing. Santa brings out these big cannons, howitzers, and shoots them in the air. Shoots them in the air to where we live. Sometimes they hit, but it's it's so good. Oh good, we just hide in our basements. 
Yeah, boil. All right, all right, so our pudding is baking. Baker well should be done between 30 to 40 minutes, 45, around that. The sauce though, oh lordy, the sauce. You're gonna need to put the sauce down a bit, it's just overflowing, just need to turn the sauce down. Mm-mm-mm, what would I do about this sauce? Not a thick sauce, but you know, it doesn't have to be thick. It would just be a good sauce. You know, I prefer a light sauce over a thick sauce because the thick sauce overpowers the flavor too much. That's just my nitty gritty opinion. You guys can have whatever you guys like. Mmm, 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 this sauce. A bit, you know, it's a bit runny, but you know what? That's the sauce we're using, because that's the sauce I like. I like the sauce. I'll turn it off, and this recipe calls for what remaining butter I have left. So I'm just going, mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, this brown sugar fell. It's all good. Sprinkle it in for a bit more sugar while it's in here. It's a bit more, bit more. Can't go light on the sugar, it says. And we're good. That's enough sugar. Uh, just, just a bit more. Bit more. The sugar is the only thing keeping me alive at this point. You just get sugar. Gonna keep on mixing. All right. It says you should let it cool down a bit and then bring it back. That's a constant cycle of so stirring and not stirring. Make it a good, good pudding. All right, lower the, I don't say lower the volume. Hmm. Uh, I've been here too long. Just lower the temperature, just keep stirring. Keep it going. Keep it going. Now, I'm looking at him. I'm looking at the cameraman. He's going to nod if I should check on the, check on the pudding. No, all right, we're checking on the pudding. Aw, oh, man, let's see this. Oh lord, that looks delicious. Jesus, I would eat that right now. I would eat that right now, but it'll be undercooked. And undercooked food is bad food. Learn that. Learn to never undercook your food. You'll get food poisoning and E. cola. E. cola. Not good. Not good for you. Gotta keep on stirring. And we just gotta let it simmer for five. Five good old minutes. All right, so we're pretty much wrapping up. Gotta, we're done with you, Mr. Mixer. Didn't really use much of you, but we will soon. Oven glove, dark sugar, dark sugar, the best type of sugar. Bit too high, we got bring it down to a low, let it simmer. All right, so we're just gonna wait for the pudding to finish up. As you can see here, I'm back. As you can see, the stuff cooked. Some of it overflowed, but it's all right. Doesn't honestly matter that much, but we got the main piece, whipped cream. You know what, whipped cream fixes every dessert. Not that this needs fixing, this is perfect. This is beautiful. Got put some more. You know what? Mm-hmm. Mm. Whipped cream, never a bad idea. Got it. Got some extra pears if you want, you can put more in. Yeah, it requires figs, but you know, in the North Pole, we don't got that many figs. Nope, oh, there we go. And let's dig in. Now, obviously I'm gonna need a spoon, but I forgot to get it at first. Now let's get right into the business. Oh, that looks, that's a slice though. Mmm, real good. Mmm, mm-hmm, a little bit hot. All right, I forgot about the sauce for a second, but it's all right. You had to try it with or without the sauce. Now the sauce, the not thick sauce, but I don't like thick sauce that much. In my opinion, overshadows, shatter, eh, overshadows the flavor. We just gotta do some quick messing around with. Mmm, pear on. Now, don't tell me that doesn't look delicious, because it does. Pour a bit of sauce, just a bit, and I put a little bit more, but it's all right. Mm, mm, mm. Try just the sauce with a little cream. Mm, that sauce goes hard. Mm, mm, mm. You know what? The sauce is probably the best part. The cake is good, but the sauce just really takes the flavor from the cake and amplifies it by 10. Mm. We're done, and then you know what we're going to do to this? Crumple it up and throw it. All right. See you guys next Christmas.